key element here that makes this throw work is when Eric comes in, Derek shifts against the angle of the throw. That's the big thing here, okay? And that's what that's what this works. So it could be like a like I said, Harai Goshi Gaishi is This is a lot easier than it looks. Okay, this really is a lot easier than it looks. I've always called it cutting against the grain of the throw or against the angle of the throw. Um, you know, this could be a variation of Tani Otoshi. Uh, some people may even call us, it's like a, well, I think maybe be classified as a Harai Goshi Gaishi, a Harai Goshi counter. Okay, but what it is when, when Eric is coming into a Harai Goshi, okay, and you can be doing Uchimata too, but Harai Goshi is an easier one to start with for you guys, okay? When he's coming in, Derek is going to do several things. Now, um, Mac, you might come around this angle here. So, Derek doesn't have time to really change his grip much in this as a counter is what he's going to do. So you notice he's just holding it. Let's start again. Come into it again. So when he's coming in, he wants his grip. See, that? there's the grip. He can't, but he's got a nice high grip here on the lapel. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. Now, what Derek wants to do, he wants to lower his level. And Matt, come on about the backside here. Now, as he comes in, he's going to lower his level, and he's going to shoot against the grain of the throw. So Eric wants to come in this way and throw this way forward. Derek is going to lower the level and come this way and throw in the other direction. So it's going to be, be crossing in the path there. So he's cutting against the, the grain of the flow of the throw. And it's, it, it's, it's a lot easier than it looks. Well, he did more of a Tani Otoshi there, okay? But you can really use it as a nice leg pickup, like a, a Varanagi thing. You can use all kinds of things. But the key element here that makes this throw work is when Eric comes in, Derek shifts against the angle of the throw. That's the big thing here, okay? And that's what that's what this works. So it could be like a like I said, Harai Goshi Gaishi is could be classified, but it's more like an Uranagi or Tani Otoshi type thing. Okay, come on, Batch, just give them a So we get yeah, yeah, cutting against the grain of the action of the throw. It's really an important thing if Derek were doing this to me, if he was coming into a Harai Goshi on me. Okay, now we can cut and block, and that'll, that'll negate the throw. But look, he's got this, and he still might finish if, I, if I'm still here. So if I lower my level and shoot this way behind him, shoot this way. See, and also in this case, I grab this hip, I got a nice tight waist, and they can really control. So I got control here, control there. But you see, I came across this way, and I'm using my head to drive into him. So that's how this throw works. That's why I say cut against the grain or the flow of the throw. It really is a, not a hard skill to learn. It's just a matter of having the wherewithal to do it when you're in this situation. Can you come in one more time? So when he comes in with that right, goes, watch the head, watch the body, shift. And he, he likes, he likes, he does all the lifts in his throws. He was more like just to come across this like, like, like almost like a coast of the car. That was a really quick one there. You'll probably see that more often. With, with sweeping like that, with this reaping with the foot like that, you know, almost like a Koso Gari type thing. Yeah. Can you come on back and make sure you throw one more time? Now watch it against the grain of the throw, and you good at last time. Like that. And that's it. Again, it's, it's easier than it looks. It's just having the wherewithal to cut against the flow of the throw. Okay? You have to take a little bit of step this way, and then come down and sweep. Otherwise, your head is fighting the shoulder, and he gets you to turn back this way. Yeah, you got to lower that level. That's, really, that's an important thing when, when he, he, he's really right there, because when you're coming in, because you're using your head and body to steer him. You know, like the coach said, your head's your third arm, right? Well, that's, that's the case here exactly. Okay. Can you come in nice tall area? Come in, Jake. Now, here's another example. Here's the height difference. And Derek will see this because he'll be, you know, having this tall guy. This is perfect against a taller opponent who's a Harai Goshi type guy, or Ogaruma type guy. So just come on in and just like this. Cut against the grain. You see it a lot. You, you know, and you'll see this done a lot in different configurations. Uh, that may not be as big flamboyant throws, it's just the knockdowns. But you'll get points for it. Judo, Sambo, and other forms of submission, you know, grappling sports. But it's, it's, it's really kind of common. If you, if you watch videos of a lot of judo and sambo, you'll see this a lot. You really will. It's a, it's a very common counter 
against a Harai Goshi or even Nuchi Monotai forward throw. Yeah. Don't reach for it with your leg, okay? You have to get him moved that way and take that step into him and down, and then... Yeah, your body has to do the work one more time on your one more time. So when he comes in, watch how he lowers and the body does the work. See how the body cuts? That's why I call it cut against the grain of the throw, okay? And then the leg is the last thing at the end. If I try to reach with the leg, they'll probably still throw me. Okay, so that's it'll be very awkward. You, you gotta get the Kazushi in there, get him to go like this, and then it's an easy sweep up. And guys, if you can just when he's coming in, envision a guy coming in and just lowering and shoving this way. Just literally shove him with your hand and your head. Okay? And that's what you're doing, you're just shoving him against the action of the throw. So if I lower my level and shoot this way behind him, shoot this way, see, and also in this case I grab his hip, I got a nice tight waist, and they can really control, so I got control here, control there. But you see I came across this way and I'm using my head to drive into him. So that's how this throw works. That's why I say cut against the grain of the flow of the throw.